We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? It threw me off there a little bit, Jared. I had like you ever just like start talking and then like spit stuff happens in your mouth and you kind of choke on it for a second. I'm honestly happy I didn't like choke. I did everything I could to not choke. If I were if I were a lesser man, I'd say, you know what, Kyle, let's let's throw this away and let's start over. I'm not I don't roll, but I don't roll like that, Kyle. And yes, segue. Speaking of choking, <laughs> speaking of choking, Jared, team chaos taking teams, taking teams taking on week 10 souls. Well, I mean, like, you know, like someone had to lose in Tennessee, Georgia, but we still had some fun ones. Yeah. We still had some fun ones. We did. So for those who are new, welcome. This Welcome. is our collegiate. This is our collegiate chaos episode where we talk about the games that is not Ohio State related from this past weekend. We'll we'll talk about them a little bit, and then we will do our uh, our grading. We will we will grade teams S tier down to B tier. S tier being our top four teams for the playoffs. A T A teams for Kyle. teams that yes. Don't forget about M tier. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. The A tier, A tier, who's on the cusp of well, potentially could be could make their way into the S tier, and B tier is a uh, we'll we'll keep an eye on them. And then everybody else is in C tier, and then you have the M tier where uh, uh, the choking happens. Those, Teams those that are the, those are the choke. choke. Those are the choke masters. Yes. Well, let's let's jump right into it. Well. I, I order them here, Jared, in ter in um in rankings from the previous week here. Okay. So we'll 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 start with um Tennessee and Georgia here. Uh Georgia showing why they were the uh superior team and yeah. why they should have been ranked higher than Tennessee. Uh 27 to 13. Uh honestly, I think Tennessee scored a junk touchdown in that fourth yeah. quarter. So it, it was really it was really um what it was, was a little score 24 to 24 to six at halftime. Yeah. And, and then they, it obviously wasn't the same system, but they got a little bit of that. They got a little bit of what Ohio state and, and Northwestern had to deal with as far as just like all of a sudden the weather hit and, and there just wasn't many, and there was literally only nine points scored in the second half. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better 10 or like how bad or how, Bad people think Ohio State did in the uh, Northwestern game. Uh, North or Tennessee rushed for 42 times for 94 yards, 2.2 yards per carry. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Northwestern is not Georgia. <laughs> yeah, that 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 is fair too. But <laughs> but yeah, um, we, we were talking about this. Um, in the uh, social screening, Jared, even though Tennessee uh, law, but even Buckeye, though Tennessee, hold on. Buckeye Matt says, imagine 40 degree weather and 40 mile per hour winds in the Georgia game. The SEC has no idea. No, no, they have no idea. They on a very rare occasion will come up to the North and play in September. The South has no idea. The only, the only exception that you'll see is, what was that like four or five years ago when uh, Notre Dame plays Clemson and it's a complete and they play in a hurricane there. Well, I, I mean, that, that game. Well, the, well, I mean, well, I mean, and we can segue right into this. The weather wasn't exactly great for Notre Dame and Clemson in this game either. They had a lot of that same wind system that Ohio state was dealing with, but not, not to the same extent, not to the same extent though. But before that, though, um, we were talking in the social screening about Tennessee. Even though they lost to Georgia, they, they still can backdoor getting into the uh, the playoffs still, even with the one the, loss. They they don't have it's to. A, it's their first loss, but they were non-competitive in that game. Like, we do need to acknowledge they were never in that game. They never had a chance of winning that game. No, that's that's true though. That's true though. But where where do they? Well, I guess I guess we'll 
we'll, we'll rank them here um, in a little bit. But in the, at least if you're going off of the AP or coaches poll, which it, it's similar, it, it, it's going to be similar uh, rankings. They have Tennessee right at fifth there. So could they, with Ohio State and Michigan playing each other, uh, Georgia could potentially lose a game. TCU could lose a game there. Tennessee, you could see Tennessee maybe backdooring into the playoffs potentially. I would say of the one loss teams right now, as far as like their chance of actually getting into the playoff, I'd only put them above Oregon. That's fair. Again, That's like fair. you, like USC has one loss and they lost in overtime. You know what I mean? Um, yep. UCLA has one loss. I don't remember the exact way they lost if I'm being honest. Um, but I, I, I feel like it was a competitive game. I forget. Does anyone remember how UCLA lost? I forget. Um, uh, I'll look. I'll look. But I'm just saying, and like, Ole Miss had a close game. That I think Ole Miss's loss was somewhat close. Um, UCLA got embarrassed by Oregon. Okay. So maybe it wasn't yeah, all that close. They did. Yeah. In the end of the end of the third quarter, it was 38 to 16. Okay. Yeah. So never mind on that UCLA one. So maybe Tennessee is still above UCLA then. Um, as far as their likelihood of getting into the playoffs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but, we'll, but a team, but a team that I think that is gone from the playoffs based on who they get to play next and the rest of their season is Clemson. Yeah. Cle Clemson loses badly, badly to Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. Clemson got a, um, a few, um, touchdowns late in the game. Um, yeah, actually all of them in the fourth quarter there. You mean both. both. All <laughs> both. Yes. <laughs> This, this I, I've, 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 I've highlighted I've highlighted Spike's comment here. Uh, I've been told Notre Dame wasn't a quality win, so shouldn't it be a death nail loss? He's not wrong. Well. <laughs> did did, yeah, did Notre this, Dame get this is, did the AP rank this Notre is Dame? Clemson's first loss. They 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 play nobody. They did next. not. Oh yes, they did. Yes, they did. They play nobody next. They play Louisville. Miami, who got boat raced at home this last weekend, and then South Carolina, and most likely it's going to be uh, North UNC. And UNC is going to be their best win this season. Yeah, yeah. Clint, we, we talk about the two about the two Mario men. Clemson only had one in this this year. They only had one based on their schedule. I and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I think if it comes down to like the fourth spot with one loss Clemson as an ACC champion versus Tennessee, I kind of think Clemson gets in. Mm, no. I, you you put t you would put Tennessee in there based on based on their resume. Their resume is so much better than Clemson's. You, you talk about they beat Alabama, they beat LSU, who just beat Alabama. I mean that those wins right there trump anything Clemson has done or will do this year. I'm not disagreeing with your logic, but I'm basing this more off of what I've seen the playoff committee do in the past. And I've seen the playoff committee favor, not entirely, but give a fair amount of favor to winning your conference. And I have seen the committee look very down on teams who were non-competitive in their losses. Mm -hmm. And it, it, Clemson would have a conference title Tennessee was non-competitive in their loss based off of what I've said. And again, Kyle, I'm not disagreeing with your opinion on this matter. 
in fact, like I agree with your opinion on this matter. I'm I'm not coming at this from what I think should happen. I'm basing this off of what I've seen the committee do in the past. Mm -hmm. Trophies matter unless you play in the uh, or the. Uh, are you kidding, my man? Did, if, if, when was the last time a Pac-12 champion got into the playoffs? I guess it was Washington, but it's it's only been what twice, right? Pac-12 Pac only get a playoff team in twice. So yeah, not 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 just the uh, Big Ten. All right, all right. Moving on here. Uh, Hasn't the Big Ten get... champion gotten in every time except once? And that was Maybe. when Ohio State got in over Penn State, despite Penn State winning the Big Ten. Am I remembering that correctly? No, I think there was another time. No, I think there was another time that um, Ohio State won and they didn't get in. I want to say there there was another time. 2015 that was a highly competitive playoff there were a lot of one loss teams that year yeah all right moving on here uh michigan and rutgers uh michigan decides to play football in the second half uh yeah kind of, kind of sounds like clemson here um, <laughs> uh, to well, except rutgers. michigan won yeah yeah well, I mean, Clem Clemson's done that a number of times this year where it was a close game every, and they decided to play. Every, every, every team does that. It's Yeah. But Mich Michigan Michigan has a um scores 28 points in the third quarter to um to defeat Rutgers 52 to 17. Yeah. And by the way, I think I also just think that's kind of who Michigan is because they just sort of wear you down with their running game. It's almost by design that the game's going to be Ooh, kind of kind of slow that they're not going to jump out jump out to a huge win quickly they just wear you out over time i kind of think that's just who michigan is yeah 50 53 rushes for 282 yards in this game they're going to kill Corum. how many how many yeah. how many did Corum have uh 20 you only had 20 in this one okay and, Edwards, and they gave edwards, edwards a fair amount Okay, yep. I'm 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 happy and like I still care about Corum as a human being, right? Like I, I know he plays for Michigan and all that. I I hate to see a college team absolutely run the tires off of a of off of a running back. It shortens their NFL career. It's not fair to them. So I am yeah. happy that they're starting to split that a bit with Edwards. Yeah, and JJ McCarthy didn't have that great of a game. Um, I mean, he he threw for two touchdowns, but. Through for under 50 percent and 151 yards not and not he, that great of a game here and he took some shots in that game um he did these past and, three games he, these past three games he has not looked all that great he has not he's not throwing the ball downfield because of an injury he had early in the season um they are very offensively limited as, as far as it's it's kind of like Penn State, where I said their offense is limited because Clifford can't throw downfield very well. It's kind of the same thing. You say you care about Corum, but you definitely hate Tim Bianca Patuka. That's a fact. That's 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 a fact. I I, I hate Tim Bianca Patuka with every fiber of my being. You're you are correct on that one, Spikes. All right, I'm Moving I'm forward. I'm a flawed human being, and I still have hate in my heart, and a lot of it is reserved for Tim Bianca Patuka. All right, moving forward, Jared. Alabama losing their second game of the year. Been a while. Been a two, while. Two losses to LSU, in, in the to regular LSU, season. Thirty-two to thirty-two to thirty-one, and uh, man, LSU had some balls to go for a two-point conversion in overtime to win that. Um, we, I don't know we, if I would have called that. I don't think I would have called that two point. That two point. Conversion. We were having a very lively discussion about it during the social screen. Austin, to his credit, Austin was like, "Go for two, absolutely go for two right away." Right and away. and by the way, and thank thank you for owning up to it, Oracle. Um, Oracle <laughs> was on the other side of that debate, saying, "No, kick the extra point. No, kick the extra point." Um, house money at that point. I disagree. I think LSU was playing better at that point. I'm not saying I, I don't know what I would have done. Cause like, 
again, we had a bunch of people in the in the social screen watching that game. Join our Discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com. We it's been the evening games a lot lately. We get together in the Discord server. I stream the game. We watch it. We talk. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, discord.thesloopcast.com. A lot of lively debate, and I have to say, I'm not one to normally turn away from lively debate. I am a podcaster, for God's sakes. I, I didn't have a strong opinion. I felt fairly confident they could have held Bama to a field goal. Uh, they didn't the first time. And, like, they, they did get a penalty to help them out. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys decide if that was a good penalty or not. But yeah, we, we need to we need to move forward, Kyle. We're only four right. games in. We're we're like four yeah. minutes per game. We need to move a little bit quicker. Yeah. All right. TCU defeats Texas Tech 34 to 24. TCU just keeps on winning here. They, they keep winning, but they're they're not passing many eye tests doing it, which is probably uh, why they were below they, Bama. Yeah, they, they needed a they needed a come come back from behind in that fourth quarter and yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, um, if, if, or, they, if they want to make if they want to make it into the playoffs, they need to not lose because I don't think they're getting in with one loss because they're not passing the eye test. Yep, correct. All right. Uh, Oregon defeats Colorado 49 to 10. OK, uh, USC defeats Cal 41 to 35. And I'm I know we, we talked highly about USC and how how good we think this USC team is and all that but have i i talk a lot about how much i like their offense and i talk a lot about how they're just oklahoma excuse me how they're just i don't know where that came from i apologize um I, how they're basically just oklahoma with a little bit of red on the uniform or with a little bit of yellow on the uniform um and they just keep doing they just keep doing oklahoma things like their defense is garbage but then again isn't that just what an oklahoma does yeah, no, that's true. It really uh, it wasn't really that close if you watched it, honestly. Uh, I'll, it a, be honest, a, a, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Possession game with I, nine minutes left in the game. It was a one possession game. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I went to bed. Uh, I only saw highlights of this game. Um, I'll, I'll let you two fight it out. <laughs> right. SC had it under control. I one score game with nine minutes left. It's not totally under control, but no. I also didn't watch the game, so I'm not going to. Well, U UCLA had the game under hand in, the, in their game um, against Arizona State. 50 to 36 in this game. And the Pac-12 is basically the Big 12 at this point, right? Like, it's just points are so cheap. A lot, a lot of point inflation taking place in the Pac-12 these days. It's my stat up oh i know where it's at here uh i i had something here um in the in the ap here the pac 12 has as many teams in the top 25 as the sec does they have five teams yeah i'm just that that's fine <laughs> but i'm just talking about how cheap the points are we're not going to mention the houston smu shootout uh, neither of them are ranked, so I don't know if Kyle included. Kyle did I, not include them. I didn't, but that was a crazy game. <laughs> you want to talk about cheap points? My word. What did that? But the stats. I know it, it was insane, but it also kind of doesn't matter. Like it's watching that game's kind of like eating a bag of Doritos. It's it's it was wild fun in the moment, but you're ultimately not better off for it. 77 to 63 13, in regulation time. I understand. 1,352 yards of total offense. Yeah. That's, God, we that's, still, that's more that's that's more offensive yardage than Iowa has all Kyle, year. We we need to move forward. I'm being I have to be the you right now and say we need to move forward. 18 touchdowns right. between the two quarterbacks. I understand. More, it's more wild, touchdowns than but Iowa it has all year. <laughs> That's that's not true. I mean, that's not false. I don't think. All right. Uh, Texas defeats Kansas State 34 to 27. 
upset light kind of ish. Uh, kind Kansas of State team. already Kansas State already had two losses. Um, so eh. but yeah, this is their third loss. Yeah. All right. Uh, Utah. Uh, Utah has two losses. Yeah, that's right. Um, beats Arizona 45 to 20. I did not watch this game at all. No, I, I didn't either. All right. Um, yeah, it looked like they had that in hand all game there. Penn State defeats Indiana, who Ohio State would be playing next weekend, 45 to 14. Uh, yeah, I, I, Penn State is finding themselves, at least from a running standpoint. I think if they're in a game in which they can just sort of load up and and, and they have two excellent running backs. Um, their offensive line is serviceable and getting better. And, and it's honestly like getting better. Um, and that they should, they're in like good position to like destroy lesser teams. Penn state, you need to let, you need to let Drew play. You need, Drew to, you need to let Drew, you need to let Drew be the quarterback. The season's I, over. Yeah. The season's over. You got to let him play. What are you going to do, Kyle? Lose third place in the Big Ten East? Where's Sparty? Is Sparty coming? Uh, more on Sparty here soon. I thought uh, that was the segue. Actually, next. That, that was actually, the segue. Yeah, that is next. Kyle, yeah. I was, Kyle, you dropped it. <laughs> I did. I, I tossed I you an easy it. segue and you dropped it. Uh, Sparty, yes. Defeating Illinois 23 to 15. Actual chaos. Actual chaos here. One loss, Illinois goes down. When was the last time we saw? Yes, yes, spikes. A segue. When, when was the last time we saw an Illinois team ranked this highly, and you just knew it couldn't last? Um, what what did they fall to, Kyle? In the AP, uh, at least. At least in the AP here, da 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 da. Twenty one. They dropped Notre seven Dame. spots behind Notre seven. Dame. That's 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 rough. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Michigan State getting, you know, a lot of new faces. They're getting a little bit better as the season goes. They had a decent game against Michigan. Um, you know, they're they're probably a better team now than who they okay. were against okay, Ohio Matt State. Okay, Matt found it. Total quarterbacks from SMU Houston, 18. Total offensive touchdowns by Iowa, 15. I, I appreciate your effort, Matt to specifically only find the offensive touchdowns because we, we know how that goes in, in Iowa land. So uh, your effort is appreciated because I knew that took you a little bit of extra time. Uh, UNC um, scraping by beating Virginia 31 to 28. Not a, not a pretty game here. Now this is this much, uh, much, much like uh, TCU, North Carolina, North Carolina, you know, they have, you know, they have, they have one loss. They don't win pretty much like Clemson. They lost to Notre Dame. Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Like North Carolina is only going to be so good. Um, if they can pull the upset over Clemson. Congrats. I, I don't even know how to end that sentence. Like, congrats. Like uh, the AC. I don't know. I, I feel like it would take a lot of chaos to get the ACC back involved into the playoff picture. Mm. Uh, I guess this is considered chaos here. Uh, Kansas defeats Oklahoma State. Second Light chaos. loss in a row? Third. Second loss in a row? Third. For, oh, third. Oh, third loss in a row. Ooh. Yeah. That's why it's like Ooh. chaos light. Ooh. Friend is in the MSU band, and she said the stadium was damn near empty for that game. That's a shame. Michigan State fans not acknowledging how uh, big of a game that was because, you know, Illinois was ranked. I know it's Illinois. I know the uniform is not exciting. Illinois. Game was oh. Illinois. What the hell are Illinois fans doing? That's disappointing. That's that's disappointing. Yeah, no Illini there. That's. It's one. Th Listen, the, the Ohio State game was mostly Ohio State fans, but Northwestern is one in eight now. I get that. I get that. How are how are you going to be Illinois ranked 16th with only one loss and you're still not drawing fans? Be ashamed, Illini. Be ashamed. 
They were literally selling hot dogs and other food for a dollar. That that's like some minor league baseball shit. I heard the weather sucked. Well, it it did. We saw it. We saw it at, <laughs> at Ohio State, uh, or you know, Ohio State Northwestern. Heard the weather sucked. Maybe they were under the stands getting hot cocoa and 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 hot dogs. Um, I mean, for a dollar, maybe they were. <laughs> Right. But I, but I but I think the, I think the band member saw the entire game and maybe not. All right, moving on here, so uh, Tulane beats T Tulsa twenty-seven to thirteen. Tulane's ranked. All right, uh, Pittsburgh <laughs> defeats. Uh, yeah, then... they're ranked. They're they're current. They we're about to put them in the B tier in a minute. All right, um, Pittsburgh beat then ranked twentieth Syracuse nineteen to nine. Uh, Syracuse is on their slide, which we kind of saw. Yeah. We kind of saw. We kind of thought uh, would happen. North Carolina State uh, defeats Wake Forest thirty to twenty one. I think this was a big statement for North Carolina State, finally getting a a good win here. Uh, they they still just don't have the offensive consistency to keep winning. Yeah, it's yeah. Pittsburgh's better because they got their quarterback back. You know, they're better than their record because of that. They got Slovis yep. back. But North Carolina's not getting um Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name already. But yeah, he's not coming back. Um so you know, North Carolina State's just gonna be North Carolina State. Just a good defense, but just without their quarterback, it's they're only gonna be so uh, Larry. Good. Leary, thank you. I could only think Levis, and I knew that was wrong because that's the Kentucky quarterback. But I could only think of Levis. All right, uh, uh, best here. group of five. Yeah, Tulane is, I mean, at least the most highly ranked group of five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Liberty uh, is also doing pretty yeah. well, as uh, is uh, UCF. All right. Uh, Washington defeats Oregon State, who, who was ranked 23rd, 24 to 21. But then Washington is now ranked. So Congrats. they kind of just flip-flop uh ucf uh defeats memphis 35 to 28 jared just mentioned ucf ranked here um uh, they're the ones that beat cincinnati a couple weeks ago a couple weeks or or yeah a couple weekends ago and yeah there's a big showdown here ucf and tulane uh this weekend there we go there we go all right, and then some other some other notable games I put on here, Jared, and we'll go to our our board. Uh, I just put this in here: the Gophers, your 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 Golden Gophers, beating Nebraska these, twenty to thirteen. These games are notable. Why? Because it's it's your it's your team. You you always say row the boat. I haven't I haven't tried to row the boat in a while. I've 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 jumped off of that. All right. Listen, they, uh, if they if they would have stayed healthy, they would have been a, a fine team, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. Oh, man, I gotta because they're how... big 10. No, not not because they're big 10, Matt. Wait until he tells you what the other two games he put on here are. <laughs> uh, Baylor defeats Oklahoma, Jared. Oklahoma now five and four. Yeah, I, I only put this one in just because of the slide that Oklahoma is in right now. And they've lost you, four in their past six games here. Think there's any uh, SEC buyers regret taking place? <laughs> Struggling for bowl eligibility. Yeah. Yes, they are. Uh, they, they should be able to get it. I mean, they have West Virginia, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech next. I think they could win one. Think they lost. I think, the, they lost I think. a Baylor. They lost a Baylor. Baylor. Didn't we'll somebody see. have didn't somebody have Baylor as uh <laughs> their uh their uh top top four teams? I as I, their uh well, did Desmond do that? I know you had like Pitt and some it, other stupid it, teams. Yeah, I think he did. Um Duncan says, nah, Vanderbilt needs a rival. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh they will play in the celebration bowl against Jackson State and lose to Dion. I don't think Dion's this. I don't think Dion's still going to be the head coach at Jackson State by the time that bowl game happens. I'm going to be honest with you. 
And the other game I wanted to mention here, just because of how pitiful, in, in good weather, in good weather, though, how pitiful Miami has been this year. Losing to Florida State 45-3. to three. Or Miami. My, <laughs> or Miami, Miami Matt. <laughs> Miami did not get 200 total yards of offense in this game, Jared. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Miami. They suck. Oh boy. All right. Bring up the board, Jared. We're going to, we're going to grade. We're going to, we're going to grade. Yeah. Still broken spikes. Why, exactly. why, why is that on that screen? Hey everyone. Uh, that's my hey. discord and that's, uh, that's, that's, recording. that's my recording. Why is it on that screen? Um, I don't know why that happened. This is me waving to me, the editor, saying you can start you can start going again now. Good All job, right. editor. All right, pick back up. N definitely no edit happened there. You guys saw nothing that we definitely didn't make an edit there. All right. Don't. This is great material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic material. We heard it, though. Right. Of All course right. you show up now, Austin. All right, here Jeez. We go, here we go. And you have week 10 in line here. So we're good. We're off to a good start here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so let, let's keep this up and move Tennessee down to a tier. That feel it feels almost too obvious to say I agree with you. All uh, right. And then and Georgia is going to jump Ohio State and, and move to one. Yep. I don't think I anyone disagrees with that. And I think I think we put Michigan up to third there. Yep. Perfect. I think I think I think this is where the top four should be in that order. Austin shows up literally just in time to as he's done the past several weeks, just like campaign for for TCU. No, I'm TCU keeps winning ugly. Reality of the situation is, is that they aren't passing the eye test. Compare the schedules right now. No. There is a matter of eye test and TCU almost always looks like they're about to lose their okay. football games. All right, all, right, all, right, all right, let's let's compare. Let's compare if, if that's what you're wanting to do. Because Austin. it's not every week, Austin. Ohio State lost ugly this week. Why shouldn't they? Da, 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 da. Because it's every week with TCU. I, I, I've got receipts here. I've got receipts, Austin. TCU has... Let me, let me bring this over here so I can compare. TCU has wins of Oklahoma, Kansas, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, which if you're looking currently them being ranked, only one of them is ranked, Kansas State at 23rd. Michigan's victories include, um, include Maryland, Iowa, Penn State, who is currently 14th, Michigan State and Rutgers, and they are winning convincingly in pretty much almost all of those games there. I mean, they had a, they played barely in close, but all, all the recent games, they destroyed Penn State, they defeated Michigan State, and they won convincingly over Rutgers here. They have the better win compared to how teams are ranked right now. So, yes, Michigan is ahead of TCU. Guys, we went in at half tired. Michigan went in at half trailing tied. Don't know why I threw an R in there. Went in half tied. Michigan went in at half trailing without the Midwest weather fun. I agree. Um, I think that. Again, that's just kind of who Michigan is. They're going to run you into submission and they just will naturally sort of take over as the other team wears down. I think that's just who yeah. they are. Yep. All right. A tier here, Jared. So I think right outside the A tier, um, Tennessee, I think, I think Tennessee and Oregon, I think Oregon should go up to A tier now. Yeah. I think we have to evaluate most of the one loss teams at this point. Cause I think 
Kyle, move Bama down to B tier. Move Bama down and move Clemson down as well. Well, I want to have a conversation there. I think we should evaluate some of the one loss teams to decide who in one loss should be A and who should yep. be B. That's fine. Yep. Let's move Clemson so, down first. Okay. Clemson's let, not uh, here anymore. Nope. 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 I'll explain they, why they, here. So Oregon, Oregon, a one loss team goes up to A tier. They're, they have a shot of making the playoffs if they win out. Same thing with USC. They still yep. play, or they can, they still can play Oregon. They, they can win, be one loss, a conference champion and potentially could get in too. So that would make them an A tier. I'll explain Clemson and why I think they're a B tier here uh, soon. So B tier, well, I, I guess you put UCLA up there too. One loss UCLA team in the driver's seat there. And I, I think those- I'm just totally are, giving Kyle control of this and I don't know why. Um, and I think what the one other team I would put in, the other team I put put in there right now is Ole Miss. Yep. Ole Miss is the last A tier I would put in there. They have a one loss to LSU, who just beat Alabama here. And Ole Miss plays Alabama this weekend here. So potentially we could see Ole Miss moving right up there that A slash S tier when we talk about them next week, if they beat Alabama, potentially. But we'll, we'll put them in A tier, so... Any objections to that, Jared? What What is your thought process for and having... Go down, and Illinois can go down, by the way. Yeah, Illinois can go down. You can't lose Indiana and Michigan State in the same year and stay in B tier. Um, <laughs> what, what is your justification for having... UCLA and Oregon in the A tier, but Clemson in the B tier. All right. I, th I think the big thing is looking at Clemson and who they've beaten and who they have left in the schedule here. Because right now, their their best <laughs> win, their their best win over current who's currently ranked right now. Again, we're, I'm going off of the AP because we're not we don't know what the uh, I just want to say, I don't know if I it's like... He is right here, but their their current win, best win is NC State, who's... What, what are they ranked? Like 20th or something like that? Something in the and, uh, high team, and, low and 20. And their, and their only good game that they have left is their championship game, which is looking to be UNC. They're not, they're not going to be in contention to make the playoffs there's too much a gap too much of a gap this late on to make up the ground which is completely different than some other years with other teams who were ranked around where clemson was about this time in previous years but they had ways to move up they had teams that were ranked highly that they could beat to move on up clemson does not at all and they and the, got, way that they've been, and the way that they've been winning games recently too, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. They I got news. Caught up to them against against Notre Dame. One, I don't know if I like factoring in their future schedule into this discussion. I think we should only be focusing on the games that have happened. Okay. Okay. It's still one. It, your best win is NC State. I guess my issue is when it comes down, if we're talking about like who legitimately has the best chance to get into the playoffs, I'm telling you right now, I think Bama would get in before Oregon. No, 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 I, I, I just, dis I disagree with that because, because Bama has zero shot of, of being a conference champion. Oregon does. Oregon has a better shot than Alabama. Alabama has two losses, but they were both close. And I'm sorry, Clemson, Tennessee, UCLA, 
Oregon all have a real big asterisk on them because their losses were bad losses. What was was Ole Miss's loss? Ole Miss's loss was bad too, wasn't it? We literally just had this conversation. I've already mm -hmm. forgotten. All right, yeah, throw Ole Miss it, into it, that convo too. Notre Dame okay. Okay, also but, but then, absolutely okay. destroyed okay. Clemson. Clemson's okay, then, also then, in that conversation. All right, tell me who Alabama's best victory is then, Jared. Who, who, uh, do, you who do you think? Who do you think? Alabama's best win is. Uh, just just go through them. Just go through them. Um, okay. Texas. Texas is probably their best one. Vanderbilt, Arkansas, Texas A&M, or Mississippi State? Mississippi Texas. State or Texas? It's The answer is Texas. Mississippi State's not... is not even top 30 right now. I thought so they it's, were. It's, I thought they were ranked. Nope. I thought they got ranked after last week. Um, nope. It's Texas. Are, okay. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm sticking to I'm sticking to to my thoughts here, where Oregon has a much better shot to make the playoffs uh, at any of those three. Um. Pac-12 or yeah, Pac-12 teams has a better shot, better shot at making the playoffs than Alabama. Alabama is at like less than five percent chance. Are you pulling that from somewhere? No. Oh, okay. Out of my ass. I just okay. Okay. <laughs> well, it, it, you you said five percent. I'm like, does ESPN have that playoff predictor thing up? It, yeah. just, it felt it felt felt it, like it, a very. It, 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 they pulled that out of their ass too. So I, I understand that. I understand that. But it just it felt weird to have you like go like straight to a percentage. Anyway, nothing wrong with it. I just wasn't expecting it. Um to me, to me, to me, to me. And if we're gonna order A, which we have ordered A in the in the past. Oh. Oh. There you go. I I'm going against the AP on this. That's where most of ESPN's programming comes from. Their butt? Is that the joke? Um, yes. Okay. I think it's SC. Their one loss is in overtime. Mm -hmm. um, we only have, among the prominent teams, four undefeateds left. Those four undefeateds are... Right where they should be in S tier. SC's loss is an overtime loss. Um, but man, these other three teams, four teams, lost badly. So then, Tennessee I, has okay. a Tennessee, I would say, probably has the best. God, why can't I click the T? Probably has the best resume. Yeah, that, that's the next thing that you're going to have to look at is best resume here. And and it would definitely be Tennessee. So if I look at UCLA and Ole Miss here, uh, Oregon's best win is, um, they're not ranked, but it um, was BYU. Uh, they have a win over UCLA. So I think Oregon should be above UCLA here. That UCLA's best wins is against Utah. And then Ole Miss's best best win is um, nobody who's in the top twenty five. So if you're going to ask me, it the ranked would be Oregon, what was Ole Miss's UC, loss? Oregon, UCLA, and then Ole Miss. What was what was Ole Miss's loss again? It was um, to, terribly to LSU. Yeah, it was LSU. But how bad was it? Forty five to twenty. Yeah. Speaking of, we need to get LSU it, up out of here. They lost by 25 points. Yeah. Yep. So again, I think it should be USC, Tennessee, Oregon, UCLA, then Ole Miss. Uh, well, Kyle, should LSU be up in this conversation even with two losses? 
We, we wins over to... win over Ole Miss, win over Alabama. They have that really bad loss. Well, they have two bad losses. They have the one over Florida State in the first of the year. Right. And they also had that just absolutely destroyed by Tennessee, 40 to 13. By Man, that's 27 a, points. That's a bad loss. When, when was that? That was that was five weeks ago, four weeks ago. Like week, like what, what game was it for them? That was uh, game number six for them. See, I can almost like forgive new coaching, all that other stuff. I can like forgive them for Florida State, right? It's it's a lot harder to forgive them for that Tennessee loss. I can almost, you know, I can almost just like invoke Virginia Tech. You know what I mean? It's like the inv- it's like invoking Virginia Tech. Uh, week one, who cares? You know what I mean? Week one, who cares? Yeah. I'm over it. Um. I could forgive them for Florida State, but that Tennessee loss is is still bad. Well, this is really I think it's really interesting yeah, because I, like I, we talk we talk about this a lot. It's not just if you lose, but how you lose. Okay. And a lot of these teams have terrible losses. All right. So let's let's do this, Jared. I I, I really think it should be USC, Tennessee, Oregon, then UCLA. And then, yeah, I'm fine with LSU oh, sorry, where, being an eight. What, what was, or, where was Ole Miss or, in that? Oregon, then UCLA. And I think Ole Miss and LSU can stay in A tier, but I'd be, I'd be fine if a two loss LSU team go in front of L, uh, LSU though, or LSU going in front of Ole Miss because just a couple of weeks ago, LSU did defeat, um, yeah, did, did defeat Ole Miss, that 25 victory over them. And I think based on LSU's, LSU's recent wins against Ole Miss there, their only loss, and Alabama just this last weekend, I th- I think that's fair. Still feels real weird. I, I feel like Clemson deserves to be in that same conversation with those other no. teams. No, not, not, based, not based on their resume Mm-mm. chat does chat have any opinions on the matter i really think clemson at very worst should be like right behind Ole miss in the eight tier. La- last place in the eight tier. no let's see uh dead spike says dead i'm assuming dead means keep them in b tier yes i'm going to assume yeah spike says yes Uh, Duncan's typing. Uh, they'll get a New Year's six, but it's too late to lose. And that's especially that's with a lack of resume. Schedule. It's the lack of resume. That's that's the reason. It's not because they only have one loss, but it's because of how they lost and what the resume is. That's the reason they stay in B tier. Yeah. Yeah. All right, All right Kyle. Anybody else? Anybody else go into B tier? Um, the only other teams I can see B tier, Penn State. No, they don't talk about resumes. They have nothing. Uh, Tulane is a one loss team. Maybe maybe if they defeat UCF this weekend, but no, they they stay where they're at. Uh, yeah. I'm NC put State Tulane no, right here. Tex- I'm gonna Texas, put UCF no. right with them. We're we're putting Texas. we're putting the winner of this game into B tier. I'm telling you right okay. now. Tulane, UCF, one of these teams gets put into B tier next week. All right. And the other teams, NC State, Texas, Notre Dame, Illinois, Kansas State, Washington. No, they they all they all stay where they're at. We we don't we don't normally talk about this. Because normally once we stick a team into M tier, they live in M tier. Did the win over Clemson graduate Notre Dame out of yes. M tier? Yes, absolutely. Yep. All right. They def- they definitely did. The way that they beat Clemson, they can they can move up from there. Congratulations. It's very, very rare. Once we once we once we hit that button, once we hit that button and say, nah, you go into M tier now. What about Sparty? Sparty got a big victory. 
I mean, we did, did we ever believe the Illinois hype? No. Okay. All right. Um, Kansas State just lost, right? Yeah, Kansas State doesn't even belong to be over here in the batter's box anymore. Nope. Texas does. Wake just lost again. They don't deserve to be in the batter's box. I guess we can keep Mississippi State there. No, Mississippi State lost, didn't they? They won, right? In overtime? Did they? I'm looking. Hold on. They did what WVU does every year, have a crap year, but reach up and pull down one team with them. I mean, yeah, I mean, we used to say the same thing about Pitt until they started getting good quarterbacks. You know, it was the old uh, Pittsburgh super weapon. Yeah, Mississippi State did win in overtime over a terrible Auburn team. Syracuse does no does no longer does no longer belong over there. I guess we'll keep Illinois in the batter's box. Not that it matters. Yeah, I, it almost feels a little disrespectful to Penn State at this point. Just because they're down there with a bunch of. I don't know. Penn Maybe State not. can't move up. Penn State cannot move up at all unless. Michigan and Ohio State lose twice here. And even then, no, even then, they, they can't get no. in. No. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just... Yeah, I, I, I think this is good right here, Jared. I don't think you need to move, move anybody else. Okay. Um, are, we, are we good? PSU yeah, has no good. control over their future. I agree. Chat... Um, are you seeing anything that's amiss here? Something Kyle and I have 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 looked over, looked past, look some sort of other preposition. I really think what you see here, S and A tier. What what is that? Eight, ten. These are ten teams. These are going to be the ten teams that can make the playoffs. I don't. There's no. I don't see a way Utah can can get in i agree I don't see i don't see a way alabama can get in now i'm not i'm never i never call alabama dead i don't see a way that clemson can get in i think or, that's a very UNC. hard i, I agree or with UNC. unc i agree with utah i with bama and clemson i don't know if i agree what, what, what's the difference between what's the difference between clemson and unc the colors, the colors that Clemson's wearing, is it is is that the reason? Yeah. North, no, both North Carolina and Clemson lost to Notre Dame, but North Carolina lost by um, less points than Clemson. I what? This is the same conversation you and I were having earlier. I'm not saying your logic is bad. I just think I know how the committee works. And you say, what's the difference? Their colors, their laundry, because they're Clemson? Yeah, that, that, that is the difference. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm da- and in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll go the next step and I'll say that's wrong. <laughs> but, the, but the committee has shown a little bit of brand loyalty in the past. There, there's in yeah in uh, chat here is that is telling you jared like there's no scenario that alabama can get in here too they can beat ole miss okay that, that's their that'll be their best win here but they have no shot in making of um winning the their division playing a conference championship to better their resume here alabama has no shot here it's the and they go into our two Mario Man rule too, Jared. Well, so by that, many, there are too by many, that there are too many there are too many one loss teams here. By that logic, LSU. If you want to play the two Mario Man rule on me, we have LSU in A tier. 
But LSU could yes. win the SEC, though. I agree with yes, you. That's I agree. The difference. That's the big difference there. Yeah, that's because, like, we always say, don't lose twice. Don't lose twice. Don't lose twice. Don't lose twice. We we've said but, that but, for but a that, very long time. But, but but that hidden Mario man is is hidden is in the, there if you win your conference championship. I no, I think that I think that I, if you want to say hidden Mario man, that hidden Mario man's only for. Kirk beat me to it. Kirk Budo yep. beat me to it. The SEC champion. Yes, it is. God, I, Kyle, I had some major deja vu. I think we've had this conversation in the past. Yeah, I, I think we should end it. Right I think right. we had this conversation every year. <sighs> still a lot of chaos. Still a lot of chaos that can that can happen here, Jared. Now, and yeah, this this weekend is could be some really good games. Really, I. I thought it looked. I thought I took a quick peek at this weekend and thought it was kind of, kind of crap. Which you, which they put means, Cincinnati which, in the playoffs last year. That buys a lot of time to just pick the four best teams with the best fiscal playoff. Oh, fiscal payoff. Duncan, I, man, I, I, I'm starting to feel like I'm crazy or delusional or um, naive. I swear to you, the committee doesn't care. They don't care about brand. They don't care. Well, they care about brand names because they're humans. But I don't think it's them trying to deliberately put the best brands in because of money. I think they're just humans and they're like anyone else, like you or I or anyone else. They just think, oh, Clemson. Clemson's a good team. Clemson. Again, because like we're humans and we're susceptible to advertising and brand recognition and all of that, right? They're not a sequestered jersey. They hear it all week. I I understand, but I don't think they care. I, I said jury, didn't I? Jersey? I did not say jersey. I did not say jersey. Did I say jersey? Oh, oh, my God. I'm. I misspoke and we move forward. Um, sequestered jury. Yeah, they hear stuff. They hear stuff all week and they're susceptible, like I said, to things said in the media and to narratives driven in the media. They're human beings. Brand recognition. They're susceptible to all of that. But I don't think they actually give a shit about the like, oh, we need to make sure we have the best ratings. I don't think they care. I don't think they care what ESPN has to say. I don't think they're cared. About, I don't think they care about ratings. I, I honestly it's a group full of former football people and university athletic directors. I don't think they care. They have no financial stake in it. See you, Duncan. All right, Jared. I think I think that's it. I think I think that's all the time we have here. Um, yeah, I think there's some good football games. I don't think it's as good as last weekend, but I think there's some good ones this weekend, though. Uh yeah, yeah, it's. This this last week was good. This last week was real good. Um, might be probably will end up being like the best of the of the year, except maybe, of course, the Thanksgiving weekend. And that's always that's always loaded up. That's just how that works. Um, all right, Kyle. Um, and that's it. That's the end of the show. We're over. I'm not going to even going to bother doing any plugs other than to say check out the sloopcast dot com and you can find links to all of our other things there. Patreon, Discord, all of that. Um, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I uh, yes, Duncan, really. always be plugging. <laughs> I don't really. I know that Ohio State basketball, um, uh, as this is as this is being released, will have played their um second exhibition game. With their first, with their first uh, game coming a week from Monday, 
or two weeks from Monday, excuse me. So on the 21st, Ohio State will play their first game against San Diego State in the Maui Invitational. By the way, uh, I just looked at the, the Sloopcast questions. I know we ran out of time, but just Nomad does ask a really good one here. And I'll just, I'll summarize it at least to the conversation I want to have. What happens, what happens if, if, uh, if, uh, if Alabama, if Nick Saban loses a third one? What does, are, Saban is not a young man. Saban is not a young man. Um, could three losses be enough for him to call it a career? Man, how how spoiled how spoiled is that? <laughs> when you'd be like, your team loses three games, you'd be like, all right, coach, you're out of here. No, 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 no. It would be Saban's decision. Saban's decision. One hundred percent. Saban just saying, eh, that's it. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Not not coming from Alabama whatsoever. Pure, purely just Saban taking a look around the locker room, knowing he's probably going to have to start over with a new quarterback and just saying, eh, I don't want to deal with transfer portals. I don't want to deal with blah, blah, blah. Is Dabo their first call? I really don't think so. No. I don't. I've. Dabo had a great run of quarterbacks and he deserves credit for that. He recruited them. He coached them. He gets credit for that. I'm not trying to, but I think he had a great run of quarterbacks. Um, and without a great quarterback, they are just kind of a middling team. All right, Kyle, uh, that's it. That's the end of the show. Um, just like on Monday, tonight's ending band will be Pray for Sleep. Uh, once again, name of the band Pray for Sleep. They're out of Columbus. Um, if you're listening to this on the audio version, just keep listening uh, and the song will play. And if you're watching us on YouTube, um, we can't do music on YouTube because YouTube's YouTube. But we do provide the link to the song down in the show notes. You can click that and go link, uh, go listen to the song and even follow the band on YouTube if uh, if you like it. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Pray for Sleep. <laughs>